Go back! God damn it! Hey guys, welcome back to more Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. Now the month of Edge may be over, but that doesn't mean we're not gonna play we're more. All set to go to Mesa City. So let's go to the next destination. And It'd it's in an interesting location for me. US. Being in uh, the southwestern part of America. Ruthless muscle of the fiendish thigh. What he lacked in brains, he definitely made up for in brawn. Turns out he wasn't always that way. He grew up as the run of the litter. A neighborhood weakling. The only friends he could turn to were usually found on the big screen. It was there that he spotted his first gangster, and he knew instantly that that's what he wanted to be. He spent the rest of his youth working real hard to get there, fueled on his dreams of great power and respect. With enough perspiration, he realized that dream. He'd become a hard-boiled, street-brawling, tough the nails gangster, ensuring that he'd never be kicked on or pushed around again. Mesa City, huh? I've always wanted to go to that thriving American boom town. Man, and once again, I'm reminded just how stylish this game is. Wow. <laughs> um... But yeah, this it's pretty exciting. We're in the second level. It takes place in the American Southwest, which, for those of you who don't know, is the same part of the country the game idiots are headquartered. Something's happened. Where is everyone? I don't know, but it's starting to give me the creeps. What do you say we take off? And miss all the fun? Besides, I want to try out that new move I got from Raleigh's section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the Ninja Spire Jump? Yeah. Do me a favor and read me the instructions again. To land us safely upon diminutive points, leapeth lively and presseth the triggering device with the round geometrical object emblazoned upon it. So jump and hit the circle button to land on narrow spots. That's a rough translation. <laughs> Oh, Bentley. But yeah, um, as we gain more and more thief moves, I guess we'd say, it's going to get more and more interesting. But fortunately, just like before, enemies only take one hit. So we don't got to worry too much about the big bad dogs. But yeah. Um, for those of you, uh, in the know, or I guess not in the know, I'm actually recording this on Halloween, so for me it still is the month of Edge, but by the time this goes live, it won't be anymore. So, uh, in saying that, I kind of thought about not continuing Sly and maybe, you know, making it so it would be something I only do during October. That was a possibility that was briefly discussed by me and Henry. Oh, balls. I missed that jump. Oh, yeah. Okay. No big deal. I got 14 lives. I can handle it. But yeah, that, that was a possibility that we had discussed. Um... But I decided ultimately why cut a series short, especially one that works well with the Month of Edge, but doesn't necessarily have to be during the same time as it. You know what I mean? Like, like how people will watch, oh, I got too close to the dog. My bad. Battery is low. Ow. Oh. Gotta get my... Good thing I have a really long USB cable down here. For just in case of such an event. Um, yep, there it is. Boom. 
Okay. All right, we're plugged in. No more low battery alert. But that is annoying. The I swear the batteries for these PS3 controllers, uh, like as they age, especially they they just do not hold much life. Like I I remember I had a red PS3 controller, a red translucent one. I okay, I messed that up. That was all me. <laughs> but I had this translucent red one. That was, a, I think it was a Target exclusive. And when it was brand new, I would pair it up to my PC and play games with it. And I remember the battery life lasting something ridiculous, like, you know, 20, 30 hours. But it feels like nowadays... What? What? Are you kidding me? You've got to be kidding me. Okay, I don't know how I keep messing that up, but I do. So let's try that again. <sighs> but yeah, I don't know. It's probably just the nature of the batteries, but it really does feel like they just do not last anymore. Which sucks, because they used to have actually pretty decent battery life. Oh, jeez. My guy was freaky. Um, yeah, I swear, they used to last a heck of a lot longer. And in all honesty, they probably did. Oh, no, I missed a... Can I get back over there? Nope, I don't think I can. At least not easily. That sucks. Oh, wait. Maybe I can. The latest in high-tech security. Electronic floor sensors. Step on them, and you're a godder. Nice touch. They're safe to walk on while flashing, but it also means they're about to switch to a different sector. Hmm, I think I can... Whoa. I think I can jump down and get those. Nope, turns out I cannot. Well, that sucks. Um Hold on, I'm going to I'm going to restart so I can get all the bottles. <laughs> I want them bottles, yo. But it, like just in general, I don't know, the PS3 controller I really liked it early on, but the more I've used it, the less I like it. And it's not... I think it pretty much just boils down to the fact that it's basically just the same as the PS2 controller, which is why I really liked it at the offset, because when the PS3 first came out, I was a huge Sony fanboy. I was like, yeah, man, PS2, best console ever made. Don't at me. Of course, my taste has since evolved a bit. From that much more basic standpoint. And I've come to appreciate all the consoles in the sixth generation quite a bit. But, yeah, the, the PS3 in general is kind of just a disappointing system overall. At least in my opinion. I think the best part about the PS3 library is the like the number of PS2 HD remasters. Because a lot of these games do still look great in HD today. I mean, just look at Sly. Like, man, this really does look like it could have came out this year. Especially this HD remaster. It's, it's pretty nice. Um... And I know a lot of people are like, oh, HD remasters are stupid and lazy, or whatever. But, I don't know, I, I'm i not of the same... Whoa! I'm definitely not of the same opinion. I quite like them, because it allows, you know, much older titles to have a chance at finding a new fan base. When the... 
Because, like, I know a lot of people aren't going to be willing to, you know, say go back to a PS2 game, or even a PS1 game for that matter. Oh, what the hell was that? That was some whack right there. Alright. But yeah, it's just... Are you kidding me? We killed each other again? Ugh, I thought it was better than that. Guess not. Right, I need to start getting good. Screw you, ball and chain man. Ugh. This guy's gonna be tricky. Not what I wanted to do. Okay. Okay, good. Oh man, that time slowing power is actually really useful. No, he got me! No! <sighs> okay. So I need to just like get on him, like immediately, I guess. Oh, screw you. Oy. But anyways, what was I saying? Yeah, so for like the HD remakes, remasters, or whatever, I think it's pretty nice the way it enables new people to discover old titles, but also gives old fans a new way to experience them. And like I said, I know a lot of people are not of the same mindset there, but... Honestly, I think it's great. I think it's one of the best trends of the last and this generation. And maybe that's just because I have a bias for older games. Oh, that's the safe. I don't have enough things yet. Okay. How many do I have? 27 out of 4. Okay, I'm almost there. But yeah, it's just... Oh, jeez. So many guys. So little time. Wait, what is that? Oh, there's three clues over there. Nice. Okay. I see another clue up there, too. Screw your ball and chain. Oh, man. But it's it's pretty great, I gotta say. I, I hope they continue to do it in the future, too. I'm talking about. Oh, jeesh. That guy's attacking me with the power of cards. What are you, a Yu-Gi-Oh villain? Get out of here. 36, 37. Oh, boy. I think this is it right here. 38, 39? I missed one? I missed one. Okay, let's go back and try to find that last one. Um, why didn't I jump? Okay. Okay, I guess I just don't get to jump. Um, oh, jeez. Okay, um. Oh, look, a horseshoe. I could use that. Come to me. I don't know, maybe there's a clue up here with the safe I didn't see? No, clearly not. Hmm. Alright, where the heck are the clues? How did I miss a clue? Hmm. Uh, 
don't know where the clues are. Oh, wait, I think I know where one I missed is. Good thing I am only missing one. If I was missing more than one, yeesh. But I think I have an idea of where it is. Yep, that's it. Okay. How do I get down there to... Ah, there we go. Okay, that was scary. That one was really well hidden, I gotta say. Very glad I uh, definitely am not using a guide to help me when I can't find them on my own. <laughs> uh. Press the circle to enter the vault code. A little bit of higher mathematics and voila! Dial in 314. 314. That's part of a phone number I know. I don't know whose phone number it is, so I'm not going to say it. <laughs> but somebody's phone number I know. Somebody who I know's phone number ends in 314. Oh, and look at that. Another trophy. That's what I'm talking about. Use the triangle button to toss your cap. Then use the triangle button again to detonate it. Better back off to a safe distance first. So I can explode my hat? What a weird idea for a special move. Seriously, <gasps> that's a strange one. I never would have thought of that. Man, the people behind this game were very creative. Wow, that was scary. I thought for sure I was going to miss that. Okay, go, 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 go. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Upgraded to gold. Gold. Oh, yeah. We got it. And check that out. Now, one thing... One neat thing about this game, I gotta say, like, aside from, well, I guess <laughs> the obvious is, like, mm, mm. oh wow, okay, so I guess we're going straight into the next level, or is this the hub? This might be the hub, I'm not sure. No, I think this is another level. No, this is a hub. Yeah, definitely a hub. This mugshot certainly isn't shy. Okay, so we know he's here somewhere, but how are we supposed to find him? Mesa City is a big place. Given that he's a bulldog, it seems only reasonable to assume that he chooses to live in a giant fire hydrant. That's some sound logic, Sly. Now you just need to find a way to break into the building's base. Oh, I'm sure I'll think of something. Oh man. Like I I'm sorry if uh, if commentary seems a little lackluster. I'm just I'm seriously uh Oh, what? He has a gun? Weird. Okay, that seems like an opportune time to use the bomb. <laughs> it's when that guy is standing there shooting. Ooh, I spy a level. Oh no, it's one of these, I think. I think it's a vehicle level. Murray is in position to make a run for this key. Okay, so what do I do? Provide some covering fire for him with that blasting station. Sweet. Use the left analog stick to aim and press the square button to fire. I'll do my best. Yep, it's a vehicle level. Oh boy. Let's go, Sly. Whoa. Uh oh. Alright. Ah! Controls are inverted. I don't like. Stop making up and down inverted. That's very confusing. Bingo. 
And I like the way they're involving Murray. Uh-oh. Okay, you're good. You're good, Murray. Go, go, go. Oh, shoot. Okay, go, go, go. Oh, shoot. Keep going. Oh, I hurt him. Oops. Sorry, Murray. Okay, keep going. Murray the purple hippo. Oh, no! Okay, got him. Oh, no, I blew him up. Oops. I'm sorry, Murray. <laughs> Let me try that again. <laughs> okay, now that I'm kind of used to how the Let's inversion go, is. Yikes. Yeah, the inversion is driving me nuts. Yikes. Seriously, this... This inversion is killing me. Okay. Oh no, he doesn't have a he doesn't have a, a horseshoe. Oh, that's gonna be annoying. Okay. I don't remember. Does somebody? Oh, somebody's gonna come here though. I know that. Get out of the way. Okay, got him. Oh man, all these toxic waste barrels suck. No, Murray. Oh man. I'm going in sly. Oh no. Oh man. This is hard. <laughs> the nice part is I'm kind of learning where the enemies are going to show up and once you know that, you can kind of figure out your aim. Wait, what? Oh crap, I forgot there was a guy over there. Ah, oh, all my lives. No. Time to move, Sly. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. Oh no. You know, I'm gonna do that now, so that's not a problem later. Okay, and then there's a guy over here. Okay. There's a dude there. Okay. There's gonna be another one in this train car. Okay, got him. There's gonna be another one over here. Oh, he sneaks around the back. He's tricky. Okay. Oh, good. Wait, where's the... what? Oh, there's the dude. Oh, got him. Okay. Okay, he's going up. Oh, okay. 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 Oh crap! Oh crap! Okay. Oh crap! Get out of here. We did it! Oh man, that was hard. <laughs> oh, good job, Murray. Oh boy, that was hard. <laughs> but nice. Okay. I think that's going to be where we leave off for now with Murray having gotten us a key and we're here and we don't even know what the key is for yet. So uh, I'll see you guys next time. Um, this game is full of surprises. I got to say, I, I was not expecting some of that that happened. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. <laughs>